morning, y'all. Oh, it's time to get up. I think it's 7.30. 7.47. Surprised it slept that late, honestly. But it looks like a beautiful day out there. It's supposed to be hot today, but we're going fishing anyways. Tell me Jeremy's up. It's 64 degrees, and I think it's a high of, well, high of 88, so they dropped it a couple degrees. But all right, y'all, let's get up and get after it today. See what kind of adventure we can get into. Morning, guys. Well, Woke up and there's a catfish on my line. It's wrapped into my other line pretty severely. Hopefully, it's stuck on the tree out there. Is he on this? Is he actually on this one? He's actually on this one, I think. Oh, they're stuck on something. Sweet. Time for a morning swim, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, all sorts of rats. Sweet, don't leave your crap out at night because this is what happens to yourself. Need a knife? I got a knife here. Yeah, I think I just need to cut this other line. I don't know. Oh, it's wrapped around a tree out here. You want me to cut it right here at the pole? Oh, my balls! He's off. Maybe. Yeah, well, it's not how I wanted to start my morning. At least it's going to be warm today. And he is all sorts of jacked up. Come here, dude. Man, they got teeth here. Bang. It's a little bit bigger than the one from last night. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and get this guy unwrapped. Probably just going to have to start cutting lines. There we go. There we go. Got him off. He is still alive. He's still biting my finger. And I think he's going to be just fine. So we're going to let this guy go. Uh, if it was later this afternoon, maybe we'd keep it and eat it, but I don't want to clean a fish right now, do you? No. <laughs> yeah. No. So, I don't have a stringer to put them on. We'll just let this guy go. There you go, bud. Well, that was a bit of a mess. That was cold, man. That water's cold. Well, I'm awake. <laughs> awesome. Well, all right, guys. We're going to drink some coffee or something, and then we're going to get to fishing. So stay tuned. All right, guys. We've got breakfast ready. Jeremy's a great cook. Doing much more than I usually do while we can. We're, uh, we're choking it down. It's, uh, yeah, great morning out here. Uh, I could see three boats. I don't know if you guys can see that one coming down the lake right now. Oh, there's a fourth boat. It's a bit busier, although I think we should still manage to catch some fish. 
Jeremy's got a, a tournament that starts today. It's an online tournament that you can... Fish statewide? Statewide, Nebraska and Iowa uh, for the whole month of May. Oh, so it's a full month yeah, tournament? Yeah, it's a whole month. It starts today, huh. May 1st. Oh, shit. Saints. Today's my wife's birthday. You should probably tell her happy birthday. Happy birthday, sweetheart. There you go. Happy birthday. <laughs> um, Very calm. Yeah, so we're going to get breakfast down. And then we're going to get the kayaks loaded up. And we're probably going to head out and do some fishing, guys. So stay tuned. Hopefully we can continue catching some fish. Uh, the morning started off good, I guess. Uh, my underwear is still, still a little bit wet. But, but we'll get back out there. We'll get to fishing and see what we can do today. So stay tuned, guys. off y'all I need to put some sunscreen on probably but all right guys we're gonna head over to the other side of the lake there's a cut over there so I'll see you guys when we get over there you don't have to watch me paddle for 20 minutes <laughs> all right y'all we're gonna try this guy I've never used this it's a river to sea s waiver in abalone shad color yeah we'll give this guy a shot I don't know I tied on a big white grub to one of my casting rods that I had, but might as well throw this around for a little while. Can't catch anything with it if I don't try it. Sweet, I'm in a tree. The joys of kayaking. Let's get this stuff put away and make a few casts with it. Get out of this tree. Definitely not uh, the rod to be throwing this with, but. I don't know if I need to be working this or if I can just reel on it. It's basically a subsurface bait. I just saw two huge musky. Yes. Yes. Man, they were swimming that way. Yep. Yep. They might have actually gone back into the reeds, I don't know. There they are, right there, right there, right there, right there. Can you see them? No, I don't see them. They're straight in front of me, six foot out. I could poke them, they're right under, yeah, they're right there. Which direction are they going? Almost right towards you. So it looks like they're circling in here. Oh my God, they're right here, they're right here, they're right here. Get it, get it. God. Yeah, bigs. They're not huge. <laughs> That's big to me. That's huge to me. They're not huge. Yeah, they're just doing a circle. Yeah. They might not be interested in eating right now. I could put something on. Yeah, because they would have definitely seen that. They, they swam right under my boat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, I think the first time I saw it, that's what it did. one of them did. They swam right next to me. Yeah, they're not, uh, they don't seem too terribly interested, but. Fuck no, it's getting laid. Yeah. Well, guys, that was exciting. Even if we couldn't get a hookup, that's the first time I've ever actually seen any of them. Uh, we both saw them, so, yeah. Jeremy says they're spawning right now. I don't, I don't really know much about them. Uh, so they're probably not in the mood to eat, but I don't know. I'm just going to keep tossing this big one around. I did catch that catfish this morning, so I might as well try for bigs, right? We'll just keep after it for today, guys. Stay tuned. 
Can you guys see all the carp spawning right there? Half out of the water. They're everywhere back here, y'all. Water is just filthy from them. You can see them, they're just swirling everywhere. See them? Big old carp. Sorry to interrupt your banging. I'll leave you be. All right, guys. Uh, it's getting pretty late in the afternoon, although the sun's pretty high in the sky. We are just not having any luck. We can't put anything together. We're seeing a ton of carp. We saw those musky. Uh, we each got a blow up from a pike but we didn't hook up and I believe we've seen a couple bass but we just can't can't seem to catch anything and kind of the odd part that we're we're running into is we are not seeing any bait fish no bluegills no no fry no nothing on the banks which is kind of odd so they might be in a completely different part of this lake which would explain why there probably isn't a lot of bass and things like that around here so he's coming in hot wasn't paying attention <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna get headed back to our our campsite and i think we're gonna run take some showers because it's kind of uh it's a little warm today i think it got up to about 90 degrees so we're gonna start paddling back to camp and i'll see you guys when we get there <sighs> all right guys well we're back at camp at least i'm at camp uh, there's the yaks. Jeremy just ran to the showers. Uh, it's, it's way over on the other side of the lake where the actual like campground is. You can disperse camp here as we're doing. Uh, and then I'm going to run over there when he gets back and then we'll get to making some dinner. But yeah, it's hot out. Um, I've got a few spots where I'm burnt that I didn't get sunscreen on. Like my wrists under here are a little burnt, which is kind of goofy. Uh, it's 440. Uh, in the afternoon so we're gonna get showered up and then we're gonna get some dinner going so i'm gonna cook tonight hopefully it turns out all right and i don't know i guess i'll see you then all right guys so i'm at the beautiful shower house here um, and these are quarter showers so you have to pay quarters for the shower to run uh, here's the issue there's one small store here uh, which was closed, so I couldn't get changed there. Uh, and all I have are 20s, so I had to go back to camp, talk to Jeremy, gave him, I, I took $2 out of his wallet, and I'll try the other one. I don't think I'm showering today, boys. I don't have any quarters. I've changed in the truck, no quarters. Um, doesn't matter what I do with these. I mean, let's see, maybe turn it around. Let's try turning it around. I'm afraid it's just gonna eat the dollar. So, 
it looks as though I'm going dirt ball, uh, but we are probably leaving in the morning, so it's not all bad. Um, I'll just have to take a bird bath when I get back to camp. <laughs> kind of sucks, but I got a bunch of water. I mean, I can wash up the bits that need wash. It would be really nice to take a full shower, but I don't know. The closest town is about a half an hour away, 35 miles away. Um, anyways, so be an over an hour, over an hour round trip just to go to town to get some quarters so I could take a shower and then to probably <clears throat> to take a shower and get back to camp um, would be at least another half an hour or 45 minutes. We still gotta cook dinner. So I'll see you guys back at camp, I guess. All right guys, we're back at camp. I'm back at camp anyways, since the bunk shower, I've taken a very quick bird bath and changed. Uh, we've got our kayaks loaded up because we're gonna be leaving in the morning, but I'm gonna get some supper going. We're gonna make some steak kebabs. Uh, yeah, kebabs. Keeping it classy with bush light tonight. And I've got some steaks that I'm gonna chop up and these are what we're gonna use to make kebabs. I've got steaks and some peppers here. I bought like a pre-pack thing of peppers. We'll see how they go. And then I've got two of these beef round tip steaks. You guys can't see any of that because the light behind me, that's awesome. Um, these are beef round tips. We got these from uh, the cow that we get every year. Man, there's two of the steak. There's actually two steaks in each of these. You guys can not see that at all. Um, and so that's some of the meat from the cow we buy every year. Once again, it's probably some of the best meat that I've had anyways. I don't know if it's grass-fed, organic, whatever. It just tastes good. I'm not gonna spoil the surprise, but if you follow the, I don't know, are you gonna put it on your channel? You know what, I'll probably just do a review on it. Yeah? On my channel, yeah. Jeremy's getting a pretty cool tent for the back of his truck. Something that, like, there's plenty of truck tents on the market, but if you're typically looking for them, this is not the one you're gonna see, so. I'm interested to see what he's got. But you'll have to follow the Icehole Power Channel, which I'll link down in the video description if you want to see that coming up. All right, onto these peppers, y'all. So, I don't know. I saw this pack. Yeah, it's kind of odd to buy them in a pack like this, but why not? They've been in the cooler, so there's a little bit of water in there because there's holes in the bag, but we'll just, we've gone full greenhouse grown in eco-friendly packaging. Yeah, crispest rainbow peppers ripened by the sun. I don't know, they look good to me. All right guys, well I've got all the stuff chopped up here. And we'll go ahead and put these on some sticks. That looks nice and tasty and colorful. And of course the meat looks good. Uh, I might dump some of the seasoning in there and whisk it around, knead it. I don't know what you want to call it. Finger the meats. Finger in the meats? I'm gonna finger the meats. Uh, we'll do some salt and pepper. We've got some steak seasoning in here. We'll dump in that. Salt and pepper and steak seasoning, that's probably where we'll be at. We'll start with a pepper. We'll go pepper meat, pepper meat. Uh, the pepper will kind of help keep it on there and uh, try to vary it a little bit. All right, we've got one of these put together. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of these together and we'll get to grilling them. All right, guys. Um, so we had a gentleman come down and talk to us. I, he, he didn't get far enough in to be seen on camera, but he didn't have any luck today either on his kayak. So uh, 
I think we were kind of in the wrong area of the lake. Maybe I'll have to come back and fish this another time. Got everything stacked up nice, nicely right here. Look at that. Oh boy. Set that down here, try not to spill her. So not all of them were complete. We've got a little three piece of meats right there. We'll just maybe try to get that in here somewhere. Set these on here and hope I don't screw them up. And it's just a hot spot in the middle. We're not gonna put one right in the middle, I don't think. Maybe we'll do this over here. Might work. Is this guy that always puts poems in the comments? Not on every video, but he does it quite a bit. He what? He writes poems. Yeah. That's kind of And right, he's yeah, always got right, weird. That's oh, cool. I'm burning it. He's always got some some cool stuff. You should, you should give him a shout out. I I was just about to do that. Um, but I'm burning our meats over here. Hot spot in the middle, guys. I don't want to screw this up. Oh, I already bur oh I burned off both ends of that thing. Shoot. You had one job. One job, and I can't do it. Put it in the sand. Man. Boy, howdy, that's turned up a little high. I'm screwing up dinner. Uh, glad I got the tongs. All right, guys, so we're standing here talking. Uh, like I mentioned, he's uh, Jeremy's got a YouTube channel also, so you know, we're talking about that kind of stuff. And the, the license plate video came out today while we're standing here. And there's a guy that comments on some of these videos, uh, and his screen name is Dale Pointer, and he he writes poems. And so if you've watched the some of the videos, you might have seen that in the comments. But I'll read you. That was hot. I'll read you the one that he put on the license plate video. So the video was about my license plate collection. I've got, I don't know, a couple hundred license plates, and some of them are kind of old, kind of neat. It's got history. It's cool. Um, so the poem is, take a plate, make no mistake, cooking with gas, this guy is crazy, totally kick ass. Truck camping, bike camping, collections in store, cabin camping, ice camping, waiting for more, camp on, dot, dot, dot. I don't know, it's kind of neat uh, that somebody would take their time and do that or appreciate what you do enough to do that for you. And I'm burning this stuff again because I'm not paying attention. Um, but yeah. Dale, if you're watching this one, I appreciate it, man. Hot. Well, what do you guys think? Do those look all right to you? I think they look pretty tasty. Here, I'll give you a little bit better look. Eh? Okay. That, that, I don't know. Doesn't look terribly overdone. The grill's off, you can grab whatever you want. I don't right. you don't have to sugarcoat it because my cooking is not oh, the best. This is beautiful. Good. You got a piece of wood in there. Bam. <laughs> I'm not the camp chef that you would think I am. That's why I eat a lot of crap. The peppers are good. The real question is gonna be the meat. Mm. It's good. It's not bad. It's cooked all right. It's really good. Well, I know you guys can't see it, but we got a fire going back there. Yeah, we'll go this yeah, way. This is the view. Right yeah. There. Not us eating. You're getting the wrong angle of the dangle here, guys. You don't need to hear us chomping on our food anyways. You said it tastes decent, so I'm going to take it. I would have never gone that far without you. No. Like I would, well, I wouldn't know where the hell to, I mean, I could look at maps, but I don't have a depth map. You got a little bit of a depth map on your, don't you? Oh yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't have gone that far and had that guy, yeah, just No. 
I'm glad we did. All right, guys. Uh, I got that last kebab cooking on the fire, or on the grill here. And then I'm gonna get this stuff cleaned up and we're gonna go hang out by the fire. So stay tuned. Well, you can hear him back. Oh, maybe you can see it. I don't know. Yeah, you can see him. <clears throat> so there's some trails out here, guys. You can drive off into the sand dunes. That dude sent it. We did not. We're sitting here. The fire's starting to die down. He's getting it. Fire's starting to die down. <clears throat> we're finishing up our beers. And we're sitting here and looking off into the distance. And Jeremy spotted a bunch of lightning. And so he checked it out on his phone. That lightning is 130 something odd miles away. So it's incredibly surprising that we can see that here. And I know you guys can't see it and it doesn't, I mean, it's kind of cloudy tonight. We can see some stars, but when you're out here and it's clear skies, it is just lit up out there. So many, focus. Why are you not focusing? There we go. Battery's about to die. So many stars out there, but we're gonna let this fire die, uh, finish up our beers, and then we're probably gonna get headed to bed. And I'll see you guys in the morning before we get out of here, so stay tuned. Good morning, y'all, it's 5.30. Um, we're gonna get some coffee going. Well, Jeremy's gonna get some coffee going. Much appreciated, and I'm gonna get the last of my kayaking stuff loaded in here. And yeah, we're gonna get out of here, too. So. Well, guys, we're we're getting everything cleaned up. Jeremy just made breakfast, more bacon and eggs, uh, and some coffee, which was amazing. Um, but it's starting to rain on us, so it's a good thing we decided to leave this morning. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Um, but it rained a little bit last night. It's raining now. Uh, from the looks at the map, we've made the right decision to get out of here today. So we're packing up. Oop, yep, getting water on the lens. That's awesome. Really want to give Jeremy a thanks for inviting me out to come on this uh, trip and <laughs> making awesome food. Uh, he's hooked me up with some products for my soul power. So we'll be talking about those in a future video. I'll kind of go over some of the stuff uh, that he gave me. And uh, yeah, you're going to probably see more Jeremy on the channel that we've kind of Talked about doing some other camping yeah, stuff. So there's some plans, plans in the works. So, so I'm pretty excited about that. It was a great time. Um, we learned a lot. Jeremy learned a lot for his, his tournament coming up yeah. here. I, I learned where not to fish. Yeah, and I'm going to be in this area uh, soon before his tournament, so I may uh, do some fishing up here and and kind of relay some information to him to see if I can find anything else. But other than that, guys. I think that's about it. It's uh, It's been a beautiful trip. We had a great time. We did some good kayaking, ate some great food, uh, shared some good stories, and I would say it's the start of a new friendship. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit. Bye, guys. Thanks Perfect. for watching. Perfect. All right.